Well, reindeers are symbolic of the harshness and brutality of life in the Arctic region. In these remote northernmost parts of the earth, winter temperatures can dip to minus 50 degrees centigrade or even lower. For thousands of years, these herbivores and mammals that are part of the deer family have sustained themselves by adapting to different kinds of feeding habits. In summers, they feed on grass and herbaceous plants. In the harsh and snow-covered winters, they consume lichens. It is a combination of fungi and algae that can be found on rocks, trees and the ground. Using their hooves, reindeers can also dig through the soft snow and munch on shrubs, mosses and other small forms of vegetation. However, climate change in the Arctic, particularly in the last decade or two, has drastically altered the feeding habits of reindeers. These fascinating animals are now struggling to feed on their own, especially during the winters. The Sami people are the indigenous community they inhabit. The northernmost parts of Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. The community is known for their traditional semi-nomadic reindeer herding lifestyle, which has been central to their culture and livelihood for centuries. The family of reindeer herders, Nil Mathis Sara, has lived in the Finnmark fountain mountain plateau in Arctic Norway for centuries. It has been witnessing visible signs of climate change and how it threatens the natural survival ability of reindeers. The reindeer don't manage to get through the snow and ice to graze, which in turn has meant that we have to get out in the winter and feed the reindeer with more pellets, and that costs money. It's an extra expense that we've never had before. Feeding the reindeer has never been a concern for the Sami people, as the animals are fully adapted to the Arctic climate. Feeding the reindeer's herds is an expensive and cumbersome process that was never followed in the past, with dietary supplements being offered to reindeers. Well, the animals have become solely dependent on artificial feed. This could permanently alter the nature of these semi-wild animals with the possibility of turning them into fully domesticated and human-dependent ones. It shouldn't be that I have to feed the reindeer up here. The reindeer is really worthless now that I'm feeding it. It costs so much to feed them. But there has been an emergency this year. Lately, it has become so that winter is challenging with ice under the snow. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.